Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Uh, I, on behalf of my party, stand to raise the, stand to support this bill. Sir, I could observe several positive aspects in this bill. And uh, three of the positives I would like to highlight and bring it to your kind notice. Sir, this triple ITs, triple IIT, to attract enough students required to develop a strong research base in the field of information technology of India. So it's one of the positive aspects, sir. And secondly, with youth being the future of India, more institutes of national importance increases the prospects of getting jobs because IITs and triple ITs are considered to be uh, institutes of uh, uh, par excellence. Since provisional certificates that have been granted earlier in respect of the, these institutes which the Honorable Minister now uh, making them as institutes of national importance, they got this early, the, these provisional uh, certificates and not degrees. These are all the provisional certificates earlier. They got earlier from these institutes, served as an impediment for them in getting jobs and several organizations, and this problem would be solved now. Sir, uh, nationally recognized triple ITs in India could also make it a hub for foreign nationals to come to India and then as their intended stop to study in India so that these more foreign students will come to India for study. Sir, I have few suggestions to be made to the Honorable Minister, Sri Prokriyalji. Sir, Andhra has got only, in fact, the uh, Minister has pointed out in his speech that Andhra Pradesh has got only one triple, I, triple IIT uh, in PPP model in Chittur. Sir, I urge the government, Honorable Minister, to build another triple IIT in Vishakapatnam, Vishakapatnam being the executive capital, proposed executive capital and most populated city in Andhra Pradesh, would be an ideal location in terms of uh, number of enrollment of students, sir. Sir, uh, another suggestion, apart from just giving uh, institutes, uh, giving national importance to these ins new institutes of the government, I request the Honorable Minister to focus on the existing ones also. Because, for instance, I'll give for instance an example. IIM Vishakapatnam was set up by the Ministry of HRD in 2015. And till now, there is no adequate infrastructure for uh, IIM Vishakapatnam and operates from the makeshift uh, campus in Andhra University. Similarly, Central University in Anantapur uh, has also, uh, uh, suffering from, is also suffering from lack of infrastructure and has problems of infrastructure. Sir, uh, the third point, third, third suggestion which I would like to bring to the notice of the Honorable Minister, while, see, the, this particular bill, when it was introduced in Lok Sabha, it was envisaged that the bill would help to meet the needs of technical manpower by increasing the pool of trained personnel uh, coming out of these institutes. That was the objective. That, was, that, that is what it was envisaged. I would like to ask the government uh, as, uh, as to on how it plans to hold the skilled manpower in India because many, many students who have passed out of the examinations in these institutions are migrating to ab uh, uh, abroad other countries and then serving there in that country. So how to hold the skilled manpower in India and the plan is to be worked out accordingly, sir. Are there, are there any changes that they propose in the job market for few, more people choosing in India as their place of work instead of other countries? Sir, uh, the last suggestion I would like to make is there, need, there needs to be a shift in the perspective, per perspective in which we see the IITs. There is a perspective, sir. In fact, I, triple IITs are considered to be uh, uh, reasonably good institutes. However, they are often considered to be subpar to the IIT. And IIT, IITs are considered to be superior than triple ITs. So students, uh, majority of the students choose later, that is I, IITs, uh, due, to, mm, mm, the, due to quality of education it boosts. And the image it has got. So uh, there, does the some measures such as standardization of the courses uh, taught in these triple ITs and setting up the standards uh, for faculty 
of these institutes must be considered to attract the maximum students and to treat the, uh, for these triple ITs to be treated on par with IITs, sir. Thank you very much, sir, with this suggestion. Thank you, Vijay.